Today's lesson is to multiply and divide monomials. Lesson 2.3. Standard is 8EE1. The objective is to simplify real number expressions by multiplying and dividing monomials. Essential question is, why is it helpful to write numbers in different ways? Monomial. A number, a variable, or a product of a number, and one or more variables. My example of a monomial is 3xy squared. The giant number 3 is the coefficient. The x and the y are my variables or my bases. The 2 is my exponent. To multiply powers with the same base, add their exponents. For example, 2 to the 4th power times 2 to the 3rd power. We're going to add the exponents, which is 4 plus 3, and that gives us 7, and it'll be 2 to the power of 7. It also works with variables. So a to the m power times a to the n power equals a to the power of m plus n. To divide powers with the same base, subtract their exponents. For example, 3 to the power of 7 divided by 3 to the power of 3. I'm going to subtract 7 and 3, and that will leave me with 3 to the power of 4. It works with variables as well, so a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n will equal a to the power of m minus n, where a cannot equal 0 because then it will be undefined. Example 1. Simplify using the law of exponents. I have 9 to the third power times 9 to the second power. What this means is that I'm going to multiply 9 3 times times 9 2 times. How many nines are being multiplied together? That would be 9 to the power of 5. Or I could just look at my exponents, the 3 and the 2, add them together, and that will still give me 9 to the power of 5. Example 2. Simplify using the law of exponents. I have a to the third power times a to the second power. So I need to multiply a 3 times times a 2 times. How many a's are being multiplied? 5. So it would be a to the power of 5. Or I could just add my exponents. 3 plus 2 gives me 5. That would still give me a to the power of 5. Example 3. Simplify using the law of exponents. Negative 2m times negative 8m to the 5th power. Since I have coefficients, I'm going to multiply those together first. Negative 2 times negative 8 gives me positive 16. And m, since it doesn't have an exponent, I know that means it's m to the power of 1. So m to the power of 1 times m to the power of 5, I'm going to add those together, and that gives me m to the power of 6. So my answer is 16m to the power of 6. Example 4. Simplify using the law of exponents. Negative 7x squared times 11x to the fourth power. I'm going to multiply my coefficients and I'm going to add my exponents. So negative 7 times 11 gives me negative 77. When I add my exponents, 4 plus 2 gives me 6. So it will be x to the power of 6. So my answer is going to be negative 77x to the sixth power. Example 5. Simplify using the law of exponents. I have 5 to the power of 7 divided by 5 to the power of 4. So 5 to the power of 7 would be 5 multiplied by itself 7 times. All over 5 to the power of 4, which is 5 being multiplied by itself 4 times. So I'm going to go ahead and divide. These 5's will cancel out, and I'll be left with 5 to the power of 3. A faster way would have been looking at my exponents, subtracting 7 and 4, and that would give me 3, which is still 5 to the power of 3. Example 6. Simplify using the law of exponents. 12w to the 5th power divided by 2w. I'm going to divide my coefficients and subtract my exponents. So 12 divided by 2 will give me 6. 
And when I subtract my exponents, I have 5 take away this 1. So 5 take away 1 will give me w to the 4th power. So my answer would be 6w to the 4th power. Example 7. Simplify using the law of exponents. In this example, my numbers are not coefficients. They are bases. And the way I can tell is that if I had coefficients, I would have variables right after them. So these bases will remain the same. So I'm going to go through each one and I'm going to subtract. So 5 to the power of 6 and 5 to the power of 4 will be 5. 6 take away 4 will give me 2. My next number, 7, will be 4 take away 2 gives me 2. My next number is 8. 3 take away 2 gives me 1. So my answer will be 5 squared times 7 squared times 8. Example 8. Simplify using the law of exponents. x to the 10th power divided by x to the 3rd power. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract my exponents. 10 take away 3 gives me 7. So it would be x to the power of 7. Example 9. Simplify using the law of exponents. In this example, my numbers are bases, so my bases will not change. So I'm going to look at my first base, which is 3. I'm going to look at my exponents, which are 4 and 2. I'm going to subtract them, and that will give me 3 to the power of 2. My next base is 5. I'm going to subtract my exponents, 2 and 1, and that gives me 1. My next base is 7. I'm going to subtract 5 and 3, and that gives me 2. So my answer is 3 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of 1 times 7 to the power of 2. Example 10. Simplify using the law of exponents. In this example, my numbers are bases. So my bases will not change. I will only be subtracting my exponents. So for my first base, that will be negative 2. 5 take away 2 gives me 3. My next base is 3. 4 take away 1 gives me 3. And my last base is 5. 7 take away 4 gives me 3. So my answer is negative 2 to the third power times 3 to the third power times 5 to the third power.